Change dimensions. When placing dimensions, you may need to come back and modify or edit the dimension in one way or another to further embellish the design. It is possible to edit the dimension text of existing dimensions or to change its appearance by applying another dimension style. You can even modify the geometry of a dimension element by moving the dimension line or text or by adding, moving, or removing extension lines. While you work through the lessons in this course, you will add and remove extension lines with the Insert Delete Vertex tool, relocate dimension text with the Modify Element tool, edit dimension text with the Edit Text tool. Continue in the proposed site plan. Pan to the parking bay directly to the left of the proposed building. Here, we'll be adding an extension line. From the Home Ribbon tab, in the Modify Ribbon group, pick Insert Vertex. On the dimension string that traverses the proposed site, issue a data point on the leftmost extension line that reads 18 feet. You will now be adding to the existing dimension string. This can be quite useful if you forgot to dimension a certain point. It can be easily added afterwards. Avoiding the time-consuming task of deleting, avoiding the time-consuming task of deleting and recreating the dimension string again. Issue a data point to accept the placement. An extension line is added. If you snap to the wrong point, you can move the extension line to the correct location using the Modify Element tool. You can also use this tool to adjust the dimension line position in relation to the element being dimensioned as well as the location of the dimension text. Now, we'll be relocating the dimension text, so go ahead now and make the Modify Element the active tool. Next, pick the dimension text. You can now relocate the text. Reposition this just outside the property line so that it is easier to read. As you just saw, the Insert Vertex tool can be used to add to an existing dimension string. The Delete Vertex tool can do just the opposite. It will remove extension lines. With that being said, from the Home Ribbon tab, in the Modify Ribbon group, click the More icon. From the drop-down menu, pick Delete Vertex. Pick the two extension lines that make up the 24-foot dimension for the drive aisle to the left of the proposed building to remove them. Take note. The dimension text automatically updates to reflect the new distance. Next, zoom to the parking bay directly above the proposed building. Previously, two dimensions were added for the parking stall's width and length. You now need to edit the dimension text to add the typical notation. Make the Edit Text tool active. Then, identify the 9-foot dimension. In the text editor, the automatically generated dimension text is represented by an asterisk. You can replace the asterisk or add text before or after it. Click after the asterisk and then add a space. Next, click the Insert Favorite icon and select Typical. In the view, issue a data point to accept the changes to the dimension text. Repeat these steps by editing the dimension text for the 18-foot dimension, adding the typical notation. Hint, you can always return to the automatically generated dimension text by retyping the asterisk. Now, use the Modify tool to reposition the dimension text so it doesn't overlay other graphics. During this lesson, you learn to add and remove extension lines with the Insert Delete Vertex tool, relocate dimension text with the Modify Element tool, edit dimension text with the Edit Text tool.
If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.